welcome back to the Filmic Debate. I'm Peter Bradshaw of The Guardian and I want to start by reading out a DM from one of my subscribers, Patha Panchali George. Dear Pete, how is it that unlike every other UK film critic you do not have a Patreon? British film critics with Patreons are earning on average £60,000 per year, which, because it is classed as online creative content, is not liable for UK tax. Does the fact that you are middle-aged mean you do not grasp that this is the funding model for today's young people. No, Patha Panchali George, it doesn't. I'm entirely happy with my current funding model and I'm more than confident that everyone watching this will want to purchase my collected reviews entitled The Films That Made Me. Having said that, 60 grand does sound sweet. Riz Ahmed is an actor whose fierce focus, control and screen presence mean that his career has been meteoric and his performance in this film, Sound of Metal, directed by Darius Marder, is widely hailed as his best yet. He plays Reuben, a heavy metal drummer who loses his hearing and goes to live in a therapeutic community for the hearing impaired. fixing your roof. It's like one of the eaves is you know, trying to fix your roof. You don't need to fix anything here. Okay. <laughs> I've got a little uh, assignment for you. Okay? You get up early, right? Yeah, pretty early, yeah. I'll have hot coffee waiting for you at 5.30. Early enough for you? I don't know, I guess. Okay, five. And I'll uh, provide a room for you. What for? And there's nothing that needs to be accomplished in this room. All I want you to do is just sit. All I ask is if and when you cannot just sit, you turn yourself to the pen and paper that I'm going to supply for you, and I want you to write. Doesn't matter what you write, how you write, whether it's spelled correctly, or if it's just a big mess. I don't care. No one will read it, okay? But I want you to keep writing continuously without stopping until you feel like you can sit again. Paul Racy there playing the group's convener Joe who lost his own hearing in Vietnam and who now has to try to teach the angry and bewildered Reuben to accept his condition and to learn how to be deaf. It's an excellent performance from Racy and the tension or ideological dispute between Joe and Reuben isn't a million miles from that between William Hurt and Marley Matlin in Children of a Lesser God back in 1979. This is a good film with some tremendous acting but the complicating factor is that Reuben is also supposed to be a recovering drug addict and we're always wondering is he going to relapse and start using again? Or is his passion for music being presented to us as something which is itself now basically a destructive addiction which he has to let go of? I felt that the movie slightly muddled together the two concepts of disability and addiction and never quite clarified what it was saying, but it's such a great performance from Ahmed. In these times of lockdown when every day is the same, maybe what we need is another time loop comedy and Palm Springs starring Andy Samberg could be the best since Groundhog Day. So what, we're just littering now? God, nothing. What is this guy's deal? Oh, there we go. Finally. What are you doing? You know, believe it or not, I have never been arrested before. Yeah, and I'm very curious to see what it's all about, aren't you? No. No, 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 don't. I think it might be him. Him? Roy. Fucker. Don't stop! If you're not gonna take care of this, someone has to. No, someone doesn't have to. We've been over this. I'm serious. I'm serious. Help! He's trying to kill me! 
Andy Samberg plays Niles in this comedy from LA musician turned screenwriter Andy Ciara. He is condemned to wake up every day on the same day in a luxury hotel resort where he is due to be a wedding guest and where every day he is condemned to have a doomed connection with the bride's troubled sister Sarah, played by Kristin Milioti, who was Jordan Belfort's first wife in Scorsese's The Wolf of Wall Street. There is also an angry old guy, played by J.K. Simmons. Niles is blearily resigned to his eternally returning fate, but Sarah isn't. You might think that what Niles has to do is to fix some essential wrongness or sadness or selfishness in his life to get himself out of the existential rut, but that isn't exactly what happens. Inevitably, Palm Springs isn't quite as deep as it thinks it is or has to pretend to be for the comedy to work, but it's still a laugh. And 42-year-old Samberg is rivaling Paul Rudd as the boyish Dorian Gray of movie comedy. <laughs> If you're a fan of the Talking Pictures TV channel and 1960s Brit thrillers generally, then you're going to love the re-release on streaming services of The Frightened City from 1961, set in the leery flesh pots of London Soho in the West End, starring Alfred Marks as the dodgy racketeer who teams up with all the London faces to run a syndicated citywide protection racket, a plan cooked up by Marks's accountant, played by Herbert Lom. <laughs> Old Bill picked him up in Great Windmill Street, but he was green. Hang on, hang on. Hang on. All they could do him for was Yeah, I went queso with this brass. And you know she turned out to be. <laughs> Hello, Alfie boy. Yeah. What's all this about then? You won't be wasting your time, I promise you that. You know everybody. Help yourself to a drink, I won't be half at you. Go on, look who's here. Hello, Alfie. What's all the letters for then? Give a bit of atmosphere. Oh, well, they're all here. The points to stress are the increased turnover and the overseas outlets for profits. Right. Only don't mention my name, remember? Oh, sure. You don't want to be seen either, do you? No, but I would like to hear what they say. Oh, well, that's easy. Here we are. I'll see you later. And Harry, yeah? the job of your life, huh? <laughs> Leave it to me. These tasty villains decide they need a new man to collect their protection money, and this is the former cat burglar Paddy Damien, played by the pre-007 Sean Connery. It's all richly enjoyable stuff, and the Soho locations are a treat. If you're a fan of Night in the City, both the Jules Stassin movie and the original Gerald Kirsch novel, and the crime fiction of Jake Arnett, then this film's for you. <laughs> OK, I've got late-breaking news from the HMRC. Apparently, portray on earnings are in fact liable for tax, so do please remember to put some of the money aside. Meanwhile, please give this vlog a like and a share on social media, and please subscribe to this YouTube channel and leave a comment to say you've subscribed. Yeah.